hi loves what is up it's your girl is Shikali here back at it with another video and as you guys can tell this will be a detailed tutorial on how to properly color your units without getting color on the actual lace so this unit is from um cranberry hair store now this is their 13 by 6 150 percent density lace front wig and um it i think it was 22 inches i believe so i'm just showing you guys the inside of the wig and yeah so we're just gonna get started with coloring i'm using the garnier fruities hair color and this is just like in jet black or natural black whatever but um my client wanted this jet black so that is the color that we did um i'll also be showing you guys how to pretty much customize your wigs before you install them so right now i'm just doing and following the instructions that the box come with it's pretty simple you just pour the cream in that um tube and then you pour the little um essential oil in there as well just to kind of soften up the hair a bit and i'm just doing this to all of my bottles so that i don't have to keep stopping and refilling so just getting that out of the way um if you guys are interested in purchasing their hair you guys can check the description box down below for all of the information um they have sales all of the time and in my opinion the hair was very soft and it felt pretty good the only thing was that it was a bit thin so if you're not a fan of like thin hair um usually when they make the pre-made wigs it's not really a lot of hair on them anyway so i'd recommend to get a 180 density or higher so to get started you can either use one or two of these methods that i'll be showing you right now um the lace is already bleached the knots so um yeah So what you can do, you can go in with the free spray on the lace and you can put like a very good coat on the lace and then allow it to dry with your blow dryer or you can go in with the second method and you can use um, petroleum jelly and kind of smear this on the lace. So the only thing about this method with the petroleum jelly is that it's kind of hard to scrub out of the lace without having the hair have um, petroleum jelly on it. Like the hair will sometimes look like a little greasy. So, but this definitely coats the lace a thousand times better than just the got to be spray. Especially if you're doing like watercolor method or something. Um, I definitely recommend the petroleum jelly. But now once you have coated the lace with whatever you're using, whether you're using the free spray or the Vaseline, um, you want to put that on your headstand. And I just put some um, plastic wrap on it so that the petroleum jelly doesn't smear on the actual wig head. So now we're going to get into coloring the wig, which is the easy part. So once you put all of your mixtures into the container, you want to make sure that it's shaken up pretty well. And then you just start smearing this thing all over the hair. So because we did apply um, the petroleum jelly to the lace. Now, that doesn't mean to be rough with the lace and just smack that dye on all over because you feel as though it won't leak through. Sometimes you can miss some areas and you will have some areas with some dye on it, but um, it won't be everywhere, which is, you know, the whole point of doing this. So you really still just want to make sure that you're taking your time and you're not being too heavy handed because you don't want any surprises on that lace. Alrighty, so now on to the actual frontal part of the hair. So what I did, I just applied the hair color on the actual top. And then I just went in with a rat tail comb and I just took my time applying this and kind of brushing it through the front of the hair. So you want to use a light hand when you're doing this again, even though you did apply like a coat or a base underneath that lace for like protection. 
you still want to be gentle and you want to be careful just in case you accidentally um, get hair dye on the lace. So using this comb method is actually super helpful because I feel like when you use the hair coloring brush, it's just way too big. It applies way too much pressure and you're just bound to mess that lace up. So using this comb is like 10 times better for sure. And I'm just going in and just filling out the rest of the hair with the hair color. And yeah. I think the key to this is just being really careful and just making sure that you get all of the coats evenly with the hair color for sure. And I think I used only about two boxes and that was enough to literally coat the entire hair. And being that I was only coloring this hair black, not like an actual color, you definitely don't need to be super like, oh my gosh, I missed this spot because the whole hair is black. So you won't really be able to tell. I feel like the most important parts is obviously the body of the hair and the top or wherever your part's gonna be. So even if you do miss a spot or an area, you will not be able to tell. So once the hair is like evenly coated and like, you know evenly dis distributed throughout the hair now you are ready to go ahead and wash all of that out once you allow it to sit for about 30 minutes so that's exactly what i did and now i'm just rinsing out that color and yeah you want to take your time doing this as well and you really just want to make sure that you have all 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 of that hair color off of that hair okay so i'm still just allowing the water to do its job and to just kind of help with the whole process of shampooing and conditioning i just like to allow the water to just run through the hair before i even decide and go in with shampoo and conditioner but as you guys can see, here is the lace. I got only a little bit of hair dye on the lace, but it's not a important part. And um, yeah, as you guys can see, everywhere else was pretty much clear and free of dye. So this technique is true, okay? So you guys can definitely follow these instructions and you will be a-okay with coloring your hair like a pro. So I did go in with some Tresemme shampoo and then with some Tresemme conditioner. And I'm running my fingers through the hair while I'm washing it so that it will be so much easier to blow dry and, you know, just kind of style. And now I'm showing you guys the actual lace of this wig. It was super thin and actually very nice. Um, the knots on this lace bleached very well as well, so... I feel like everything turned out pretty well. Again, if you guys are interested in purchasing, check the description box down below. All of their details and information will be down there. So I allowed the hair to air dry and now it is time to style the hair. Um, I normally do not style my wigs before I put them on my head in you know, terms of like baby hairs and stuff. But I wanted to show you guys how I do it. So right now, I'm just styling the wig. I'm doing a silk press on this. And this is the hair's natural state with it um, being air dried. And it just looks so pretty. Just wait until you guys see it like fully pressed out. It's super luscious. It has a shine to it. And just look at that deep middle part. It's so deep. Again, this is a 13 by 6. So you definitely had like a, a wide part with this wig. It looks so good, you guys. So I'm just going in and pressing out this wig, styling it. As you guys can see, like it has like that natural body wave texture. And this was just air dried. I did nothing to it. So I literally just put it on the wig stand and just let it dry. No blow dryer, no nothing. And this is the texture that it came out. And to style this wig, I did go in with some heat protectant and a little bit of oil sheen. Just to help it look a bit more polished and nice. And 
yeah look at that you guys this looks so good so good look at that the hair looks amazing it looks amazing you guys here's an up close view look at that hairline I did go in and pluck the hairline off camera as well. But oh my gosh, you guys see the hair. Look at the hair. It looks so good. Can't have any lumps or unpressed parts, okay? Everything has to be nice and sleek. Yes. This looks really, really, really good. Um, the hair was super soft. I feel like the only thing, though, when I was washing it out, it did shed a little bit. But from my experience, there wasn't any tangling, nothing like that. So now to add a little bit more flavor to this wig, we're going to go in with the Nairobi foam to, you know, style our baby hairs. But before we do that, I'm just going to part out some hair on the hairline and cut it with a razor and then go in with the foam and also that little edge brush that you guys see me using they're like a dollar at the hair store so definitely go invest in one because they are definitely coming handy when it comes to doing your baby hairs even on natural hair so I'm just using my fingers to trace over the um, hair just to style it how I want it to look so, guys, this is super easy. If you do have trouble doing baby hairs, I would recommend to actually style your baby hairs on the mannequin head first and then put your wig on. I feel like it definitely makes a difference. So there's another technique or a little tip for my beginners out there who is interested in hair but, you know, kind of need some help. There's a little tip. Do your baby hairs before you put it on your actual head and here's a little slow-mo for you guys it was super easy to do this by the way if you are a baby hair fanatic you can definitely add more but I felt like this was okay All right, so now I am just wrapping the um, Sanex strips around the baby hair and allowing it to dry. And here is the reveal. Look at that, you guys. It looks so good. My client loved it. And yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, then you know what to do. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to your girl's channel. Leave a comment down below. And let me know what you guys think of this video on this hair. And yeah, before we go, today's motivational quote is, Patience is not about how long you can wait. It's about preparing for your blessing. Don't trade God's timing for your deadline. With that being said, I will see you all in my next one. Bye.